Hey everyone, it's Hint Dash, and I'm back with Timmy and Cosmo. Cosmo's been such a good camera puppy. <laughs> He's definitely learning from Timmy. Today's video is such a pretty, pretty look. It's actually one of my favorite looks to do. It's very similar to my signature makeup look, but I'm trying new products and I'm trying different textures on the skin. So this should be a very universally flattering look, as always. My model for today is a beautiful Sam and she just looks stunning. And I love trying new products when I recreate my signature makeup looks because then I can really see what I like and what I don't. And that way I'll kind of figure out what I'm gonna keep using and keep in my kit. So if you wanna see how I created this gorgeous, glamorous, universally flattering look, then please keep watching. And don't forget to subscribe to my channel down below and hit the notification bell to be notified of my future uploads and follow me on Instagram at Hindash. See you very soon. Bye. All right, so here we have the beautiful Sam. And as I finished this video and started working on the photos, I realized that it's such a beautiful bridal look. And this is sort of my updated take on what I would do on a bride. So I'm gonna be starting off with skincare and I'm gonna be taking the Tata Harper Hydrating Floral Essence. And I've been loving this lately. You guys know that I used to use the Caudalie one all the time. And next, I'm going to be doing a Hyaluronic Acid Serum, and this is from Vichy. It's the Mineral 89. I love it. I, again, have been using this a lot. I've become kind of a creature of habit when it comes to skincare because I keep my favorites on my makeup counter where I film. So I just use what I love and what's been working great on the models and what sits really well underneath makeup. So just rubbing that in and taking it down the neck as well. Next, as a treat for the model, I'm going to be using the Fit Face. These are the Puff Busters, and they're basically cryo balls. And I keep them in the fridge. They're really cold. They feel amazing on the skin. As someone that gets really puffy in the morning and just in general, I feel like something really cold helps me and just really depuffs my skin and just makes me look alive. And I'm going to be doing a bit of a massage with this and just targeting the key points to just, you know, refresh her and really get that drainage going. For a serum, I'm going to be taking the Dior Capture Total Super Potent Serum and applying that all over the skin. And I'm sort of testing these out, just seeing what works really nice under makeup again. So just massaging that into the skin and down the neck. Next for eye cream, I'm going to be taking the Dior Capture Total Super Potent Eye Cream. And this comes with a really nice depuffing metal applicator as well. And I'm just gonna be tapping a bit of that and then rubbing it with that applicator and massaging it in. And I have one personally as well, and I've been really enjoying this. Again, just really works great underneath makeup and just sits well on the skin. So applying that and massaging it and really letting it sink into the skin. I'm gonna be applying it with my fingers as well and tapping it and just making sure that we have all the dry areas that I like to focus on, which is between the brows and sometimes around the nose as well, and up into the temples. For moisturizer, I'm gonna be taking the Naturium Multi-Peptide Moisturizer, really great underneath makeup, very basic, like I said, but in a very, very good way. I know it's gonna work on so many different skin types, and that's why it's been on my counter. <laughs> So applying that all over, rubbing it in, and just letting it sink in. And with a moisturizer like this, I really want to massage the skin and get that blood flow going. I really can take my time and massage it into the skin. It really melts into the skin and I can get that blood flowing. For lip balm, I'm going to be taking the Naturium Phyto Glow Lip Balm in Clear and applying a thick layer so that by the time we get to lips, they're nice and hydrated. And I'm going to be applying that with a lip brush, but of course you can use your fingers. For foundation, I'm going to be taking one of my all-time favorite foundations. I love this for events. I love this for every day. You can really work with it like a tinted moisturizer or build it up into a beautiful medium coverage. And this is the Dior Backstage Face and Body Foundation. And I'm taking the shade 3WO and applying that in thin layers with my Ray Morris brush. This is my favorite brush. It's number 27. I love it. And I'm going to be applying that foundation in very thin layers and buffing it into the skin and down the neck so that we get a really beautiful even match. So focusing that coverage from the outside so that by the time we get in to the face, closer to the eyes and the nose, 
we have a bit of less coverage because keep in mind that I'm going to be concealing there so we don't need to add a ton of coverage in that area if you really want to minimize the look of makeup. And when I get to the forehead, I like to use whatever is left on the brush. I don't like to add a lot of product because we're going to be contouring and bronzing and that's going to cover the perimeter of the face, so the outside of the face. So we're going to add more product. And to contour, I'm going to be trying the Makeup by Mario Soft Sculpt Shaping Stick in Light Medium. And I'm going to be applying it in the areas where I want to contour and shape. So on the cheekbones, temples, jawline, forehead, chin, and tip of the nose. And this is a really great color for Sam. And the way I'm going to blend this is I'm going to take my foundation brush, which already has that product on it, so it has foundation on, so that by the time I start to blend it in, it's going to blend it so seamlessly because it's going to merge the foundation with the contour and the bronzer and just look perfect. <laughs> and this is a trick that I always, always do. And obviously when you're blending your contour, you don't want to take it far down into the areas that you don't want to contour. So I want to keep that jawline nice and clean and I want to blend upwards because I'm going to lift the face. And I'm going to be doing that in both stippling motions and blending motions. And when I get to the jawline, I want to blend downwards because I want to create that shaded contour effect and blend the tip of the nose and across the nose as well. And this is just my favorite way to do it. It really just blends into the foundation and they both become one. Next, I'm going to be taking the Monica Blunder Beauty. This is the blunder cover. It is a foundation and concealer. You can use it basically however you want. And Monica is a friend of mine. She is a makeup genius. You have to check her out and the sweetest. So I'm taking shade 3.5 with a damp beauty blender and I'm going to be pressing that underneath the eyes and sort of taking it down the nose, around the nose and up into the cheekbones. And I feel like that really creates a beautiful highlighted effect. And my personal favorite way of applying this is with a damp beauty blender. I've tried a couple of ways, but this is my preferred method, but it works beautifully with brushes too. So basically I'm using this to highlight and conceal the areas that I want to bring forward. And I'm taking that on the jawline as well. And it just looks so, so beautiful. Next, I'm going to be taking the same product, but number four, which is an exact match to her skin. And I'm going to be using that to spot conceal any blemishes and dark spots. And I'm going to be taking that with a pencil brush so that I can really get that precise application and it's fluffy at the same time. So it's going to blend it as well. So you really want to press and almost wiggle the brush so you get that coverage where you want it. And before I move to the next step, I want to set that so it doesn't move. And I'm going to take the Laura Mercier Translucent Loose Setting Powder with a small fluffy brush and just precisely set all these areas that I basically don't want to move. I want to keep it butch proof. So by the time I do blush and bronzer and highlight, I don't want to disturb that concealing that I've done. For cream blush, I'm going to be taking the Honest Beauty Cream Cheek Blush in Coral Peach and I am blown away by this product. It is so good. And I'm going to be taking that with my favorite KVD brush number 25 and applying that high up on the cheekbones at first. So I'm almost kind of contouring with it and placing it with the contour to blend everything and then bringing it down into the apples of the cheeks. Take a bit of that on the nose as well and repeat on the other side. And as you can see, it's just this perfect peachy blush. And I think this is one of those products that you guys are gonna see in so many of my upcoming videos because once I like something, I become a creature of habit. <laughs> to set the bronzing and contouring that I did, I'm gonna be taking the Makeup by Mario Soft Sculpt Bronzer in the shade Light Medium again. And just with the fluffy brush, I'm basically going over all the areas that I've done with the contour, but I'm gonna be taking that down the neck as well to bronze the sides of the neck. And I feel like taking that product down the neck really does complete the look and make it more cohesive. Next, I'm gonna be taking my Hindash Cosmetics Butopsy Press Pigment Palette, and I'm gonna be going in with Boy and Paint and amplifying that blush and setting it at the same time. So I'm basically recreating the same color that I used with that peach and a bit of that soft yellow. And just setting my cream blush so it doesn't move and that we have this beautiful gradient blush. 
For eyes, I'm going to be taking the Otrera Beauty, the Game Changing Primer in the shade number two, and I'm going to be applying that all over the lids from the lash line pretty much up to the brow bone. And just blend that in with my fingers. And this is just going to give me a very neutral, bright base, and I always love using eye primers. For my Beautopsy palette, I'm going to be taking the shade Tan Lines and just focusing on tan, and I'm going to be applying that on the outer corners and into the crease. So basically with circular motions, I'm going to be adding depth onto the outer V and then taking whatever is left and blending that into the crease. And making sure I really blend it out and wing it out. So pretty much fade it into the temples because this is a color that's going to basically blend in with that contour and bronzing that we did. So I'm going for a very monochromatic look and I really want to match the cheeks with the eyes and eventually the lips. And because these shadows are so finely milled, you can use them on the eyes and the face and basically wherever you want. And it's a vegan formula. Then I'm going to be taking tan lines and a bit of wet and just using that as a brow bone highlight and really brighten and bring forward those areas. Then I'm going to be taking the shade Boy from Boy Wonder and I'm going to be adding that peach tone back into the eyes because again, I'm going to mimic what's going on on the cheeks. And Boy is a perfect peach shade. I'm going to be putting that all over the crease and blending it pretty much up into the brow bone, but being very light handed when I get to the brow bone because I don't want to cover up that highlight completely. But it's still going to peek through. And when you layer all these colors, they just layer so beautifully and give you a very multi dimensional finish. Next, I'm going to be blending boy and tan together and then going over everything that we've done because keep in mind, we started with tan and then we added boy on top. So now I'm just doing the mix. So I'm just really intensifying that color in the areas where I want that beautiful airbrushed blend. I love the color that we have so far. It matches the cheek. So I'm going to be moving on to the next step, which is adding that shimmery glitter, beautiful romantic sparkle. And I'm going to be taking the Rowan Disco Eye in Universal, which is basically a clear glitter, if that makes sense. And these types of formulas and eyeshadows are best applied with fingers because they kind of almost feel, I don't know how to explain it, but they feel, you can feel the particles of shimmer and glitter within them. But once they're on the lids, they just look like wet skin. It just really, really looks so gorgeous on the lids. So applying these with your fingers is definitely the best way because they pick up on the oils and they apply like a dream. And you can get a very sheer coverage, but I'm going to be building it up to that really wet dimensional look. And stopping at the crease and not going too far out because I'm going to be adding depth into the outer V and outer corners. And to add that depth, I'm going to be taking my NARS Mambo Eye Pencil. I mean, it's here, it's back, it's <laughs> never left. And I'm going to be applying that very closely to the lashes and taking that wing out. I'm not going too far into the eye, basically stopping almost halfway. And when I'm happy with that wing and how far I want to take it, of course, I'm going to make her look straight ahead, open a couple of times so that I can make sure everything is even. And then to intensify that and blend it and smoke it, I'm going to be taking the shade Intra from my Beautopsy palette, which is a perfect companion for the NARS Mambo Eye Pencil. It's basically that chocolate brown and it's very rich and warm and you can just create beautiful everyday smoky brown looks with this. And what I'm doing is going all over that with a shader brush and I'm going to be smudging the edges. So kind of creating a gradient eyeliner that disappears into the eye and into the colors that we've done. So I'm basically taking this and blending it up into the crease and stopping there. I'm not going to go too far out for now because I'm building up that shape and building up that blend. And as I get to the crease, I'm going to then start taking it into the crease. So I'm not going up anymore. I'm going into the crease, if that makes sense. So this is going to create that V shape, but in a very, very soft way. It starts from a very intense chocolate and blends almost into that peach and into the tones that we've done. And as she looks straight, I'm going to be blending that into the crease so that I make sure there aren't any gaps. And basically, it's like a very soft cut crease. That's the vibe that we're going for. And blending all the edges with a fluffy brush. 
Next with the pencil brush, I'm going to be taking the shade tan and going underneath the lower lash line and just building up that color from the outer corners and taking it in because I want a very soft look. And for that glamorous bridal look, I always love a bit of shimmer on the lower lash line. And I'm going to be taking the Byredu eyeshadow palette, and this is in Disco. And I'm taking this almost champagne-y rose gold shade and applying that all over the lower lash line, focusing on the center and bringing in whatever is left to the inner corners. But then for the inner corners, I'm going to be taking that lighter champagne color and just popping that on the inner corners and making sure we have that beautiful blend from that champagne into the rose gold and almost connecting it to the inner crease. For brows, I'm going to be taking the Anastasia Beverly Hills Brow Freeze. I've been loving, loving this. I use it in all my looks. And I'm just going to wiggle my spoolie brush into this and brush it through the brows. And because Sam has beautiful full brows, I don't want to push them up and go overboard and make them look like they've kind of just been stamped on. I just want to brush them neatly and make sure everything is even. And after that, I'm going to be taking the Anastasia Beverly Hills brow pen in medium brown. You know I love a brow pen. I am also obsessed with this. I can't put it down. <laughs> and what I'm going to do is basically fill in any tiny gaps, but not doing a block brow. I don't want to cover that completely. I still love when the skin is showing through. I'm just evening things out, basically. You could go over this with a bit of powder and it'll give it that really beautiful dimension, but I'm just doing the pen on its own and just leaving her brows as is. For mascara, I'm going to be taking the Wayne Goss The Waterproof Mascara and just running it through the lashes, top and bottom. And for some reason, I always, always do individual lashes, but for this look, I didn't. I don't know why, but I thought it looked really pretty and you could see the sparkles through the lashes. So I didn't do any individuals for this look, but you obviously can. I honestly probably would if it was an actual wedding, a bit on the outer corners, just to really accentuate that eye shape. But I was feeling the look without any individual lashes. <laughs> And of course, get those bottom lashes as well to give you that really romantic, doll-eyed look. I'm going to be doing a bit of touch-ups with my Beauty Blender just to make sure everything is nice and bright. And taking that brow pen again and just accentuating any of her moles and beauty marks. Which is something that I just have to do. It's a must. <laughs> For highlighter, I'm going to be taking the Laura Mercier Face Illuminator in the shade Indiscretion. And with a smaller detailed brush, I'm just going to be going down the bridge of the nose, on the tip of the nose, and on the cupid's bow, and on the chin. And then with a fluffier brush, I'm going to be taking that on the cheekbones and slightly on the apples of the cheeks. So now we're blending in that contour with the blush and the highlight. And this is a very soft blush, so it's not going to give you that crazy metallic highlight. For lip liner, I'm going to be taking the Pat McGrath Labs Perma Gel Ultra Lip Pencil in the shade Done Undone, which is a light pinky nude. And Sam has a beautiful lip shape, so I'm just basically outlining it and filling it in. So nothing crazy, just perfecting her lip shape. Then for lipstick, I'm going to be taking the Lisa Eldridge True Velvet Lip Color in the shade Velvet Fawn. I love this color. I'm going to be taking a bit of that with a lip brush because I don't want a heavy application. I just want to kind of create a stain with the lipstick and push it into the lips and blend it in with that lip liner. To finish off the lips, I'm going to be taking the Lancome Juicy Tubes Original in the shade Birthday Confetti. Funny story, I bought these for my sister because she's obsessed with them and she always had Juicy Tubes growing up. So I got a pack at Sephora and I kept a few shades because I wanted to try them and they're really cute. So apply that all over the lips and focusing on the cupid's bow and the center of the lip to give you that beautiful gloss and highlight. And as my final touches, I'm going to be taking the By Terry Hyaluronic Pressed Hydra Powder and just push that into the skin. It's a colorless powder. It's just going to basically smooth everything over and give you that filtered, blurred look. So on the center of the face, underneath the eyes, on the jawline, just to give us that velvet finish where we want it. And doing a bit of final touches with tan lines and contouring the nose. I always love to do the tip of the nose and across. And this is basically what I love doing as final touches to really tie everything in. Adding more blush now that we've done the lips and the eyes. And blending all these beautiful tones together.
And then I'm going to be setting everything with the Dior Forever Perfect Mist setting spray. And that completes the look. I really, really hope you enjoyed this video. This is my ultimate bridal look. It is my go-to ultimate enhancing look. Everyone looks beautiful in this look. You can do slight tweaks and changes with the colors to suit you. But this will just always look effortless and glamorous. All at the same time, it's kind of the perfect balance in my opinion, uh, which is why I love doing it all the time. <laughs> and it is definitely my go-to bridal look on clients. And don't forget to subscribe down below and hit the notification bell to be notified of my next upload because I upload every single week. And don't forget to follow me on Instagram at Hindash because I do post all the looks before they come on YouTube so you get a bit of a sneak peek. Enjoy and I'll see you very soon. Bye.